This is the most globally ratified convention and it's incredibly important in the Palestinian context where children face extreme levels of violence and harassment. UNICEF works with government and other stakeholders to ensure that every child, in particular vulnerable ones, has access to clean water, health, education that is safe and is protected from all forms of violence. Every child deserves the right to health. WHO advocates for this right and works with UN colleagues and partners to overcome health access restrictions for Palestinians and to ensure that Palestinian children have access to the health services they need. We in the UN Human Rights Office work to bear witness to the impact of the conflict here in the occupied Palestinian territory on children, an impact that is in many cases worse for this generation of children than for those that have passed. Every child has the right to play safely without the risk of death or injury from explosive remnants of war. UNMAS in Palestine is working with its partners to reduce those threats, particularly through risk education and clearance, so that every child can play on safe ground. UN Habitat continues to support the efforts to achieve sustainable cities and communities, and we believe that children have the right to live in a healthy environment have access to basic services, and have their voices heard. UNFPA works in ensuring that Palestinian children have an environment in which they can reach their potentials and fulfill their dreams. Upon the 30th anniversary of the Convention of the Rights of the Child, I am thinking of how are we translating this into action. We are providing protection for Palestine refugee children here in the context of Gaza. In line with the Convention of the Rights of the Child, UNRWA is working to ensure that every child in the West Bank has a right to a full childhood. Children must be able to benefit from balanced nourishment in order to develop in a healthy manner. Meals must be nutritionally filling and contribute to their physical and intellectual development. To end child labour, FAO works with its partners to eradicate rural poverty, build more efficient production systems and promote young people's access to decent work in agriculture. Education is a human right for all throughout life, from early childhood development to primary, secondary and higher education. It transforms lives and lies at the heart of UNESCO's mission to build peace. UN Women stands with all children as they inspire, innovate, lead the change and enjoy their full human rights. We all agree that children are more vulnerable to risk than adults. That is why the ILO insists on continuing to eliminate and combat all sorts of hazardous child labor. We strive to ensure that Palestinian children have access to a fair and transparent justice system that serves and protects their rights and fundamental freedoms to facilitate their aspirations and full potential. By building adequate, resilient and sustainable infrastructure, we are helping children live in security, dignity and respect.